Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the videos. Today, it's gonna be a little bit more vlog-like for the first couple minutes. We're gonna show you guys what it's like to be here at the Throwdown. We just arrived at the Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown 2023, and we're just gonna go check out all the booths, see what they have to offer. For people that can't be here in person, I want you guys to get the same feel as if you were here. And so let's go check out some of the booths, go check out some of the courts, see what it's all about, and let's get into it. All right, guys, so when you first walk into Spencer's, you got a little bit of a car show going on, some little bit of trucks, little lowered trucks, and you got a Bronco there at the end. It's all pretty sick. Let's head into the reason we are really here. We're here for all the cornhole stuff. This is one of the biggest cornhole tournaments out of the year, and it honestly is a blast. We came here to watch last time because I just started cornhole, but now I'm playing in it this year, and I'm really hoping we do good. But now we're getting into the cornhole booths. We got Brotherhood here. We got Fire Cornhole, TWT. A bunch of vendors come out and just sell a bunch of new stuff you guys can get. We even got the Dirty Bags booth. Honestly, guys, if you can make it out to this tournament, I would say it's probably one of my favorite tournaments I've ever experienced. And it's honestly a really cool one to be at. Then obviously you guys got all the food in here. You got the fish, the burritos, lemonade, bunch of just fun stuff to eat. We got even a croc booth. That's freaking sick. All cornhole. Looks like you got logic down here on the end, the ACL shop. But I think we're gonna head into this booth right here and check out what's in here. I just call this a booth. This is a freaking building. I think this is the main stage, dude. Like on ESPN. Watch, they're gonna be like, yeah, you can't film. We're gonna copyright your whole video. But let's go check it out. So that is the main stage in this whole event. And one day, I know, maybe not at Spencer's, maybe not this year, but I will be on that stage and I will win a national title. And if it just got really windy, it's trying to blur out what I said, but I will win a national title. That is my goal. I wanna be up at that level and that's my goal. I'm one year in a cornhole, about one, two months. One year, two months. But otherwise, I think I'm doing pretty good. We're rolling and we will get there. This is pretty much what Spencer's looks like. So if you think this is cool, we got some more boosts. Let's walk this way, Jaden. I didn't even know they had more boosts. We got Octane, Bust You Up Cornhole, Ultra Cornhole. Let's cut through here. We got Dragon Bags, Ninja, Shot King's Cornhole over here. We got some mini board tournaments going down. That's pretty sick. So we got Titan Bags, everything Cornhole over here. Girls Throw 2. It's all of a pretty cool tournament to be in and just be involved in. And I would say if you guys can make it out next year, I would really recommend coming out to this tournament. This is the one that everyone loves to go to. But now that we've already walked it, We've shown you guys what it's like to be here. Let's get some throws in. Let's practice for tomorrow's tournament that's coming up. It starts Saturday morning at like around 9 a.m., but we gotta go check in and stuff. Uh, my cousin's coming tomorrow. He's my partner we're playing. We're throwing the Castello X's because that's what we got about like two months ago. We've been throwing the bags, working them in. But anyways, let's get to practicing and let's see how the boards are playing. That's gonna end off the first day of Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown. Um, we were just pretty much practicing today. Boards are playing lightning fast. Hopefully they're a little bit slower for tomorrow. But other than that, the real tournament starts tomorrow. We're gonna be playing rounders to see where we get placed in which bracket, A, B, C, or D. But anyways, we're gonna get some sleep, get ready for tomorrow, and hopefully we can make A bracket and see how far we can go. All right guys, so we're here at Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown, day two. I mean, this is kind of the real day when it all starts, the double elimination, um, doubles bracket, I guess you could say. I'm um, playing with corn doggas over there, in the, the black sheep jersey, see them right there. But um, today's just rounder, so we got seven games guaranteed, and then we're gonna get seeded into A, B, or C bracket. Top three teams go to A, middle three go to B, bottom two go to C, and there's different prizes for every like bracket. But anyways, boards were playing really fast yesterday. I don't know if it's because they were sitting out in the sun, like lightning fast, like almost like, if I was to throw a pro sniper, and I can't throw a pro sniper to save my life. But we're gonna figure it out, and then as soon as the sun goes down, it becomes really sticky. But anyways, let's get into warming up, and let's get into the first game. Um, I think we'll do pretty good, I, I don't know. Depending on how fast the boards are, we're gonna see. We're gonna go into the first game optimistic. That's a big word, yeah, that was good, that was good. Anyways, we're gonna get into the first game. Um, We'll do a couple warm-up shots, obviously, and then we'll get in the first game. It'll all be GoPro, all voiceover. I don't think I'm going to come back on the mic the rest of the day. I think I'm going to do it all from home, voiceover, because music's going to be blaring. And we're going to get copyrighted, and I don't want that. So let's warm up. Let's head in the first game, and hopefully we get the dub.
Alrighty, heading into the first match, my cousin's gonna go ahead and give us the lead with one point. So I'm gonna have first shot here. And for my first shot, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it right on in. And now for my opponent's first shot, she's gonna end up hitting the board but sliding off to the right. So for my next shot, back's kinda quick, it slides off the back over the hole. So for my opponent's second shot, she needs to capitalize here. But she comes up short of the hole, giving me an opportunity to slide around it. So for my third shot here, I'm going to try to cut around, which I ended up bouncing off her bag and in. So she's going to try to collect. Ends up sliding off the back, giving me an opportunity for some big points. I'm going to go ahead and cut around it and slide in for a nine. She's going to try to collect once again. Ends up going off the back to give us eight points, starting off with a really good lead, nine to zero. My cousin's going to go ahead and pick up another six points. So I'm going to have first shot, and for my first shot, I miss a little off to the left, but it does grab the whole possibility of falling in. For her first bag, she misses off to the right. I'm going to miss off to the right, but at least mine stays on here. For my opponent's second shot, she needs to slide in, which she ends up just dropping it in. So for my next shot, I miss off to the right again, but now I have two hanging around the hole. So my opponent's third shot, she's going to go ahead and slide it around in. So I'm going to shoot an air mill to try to drag. And I ended up coming up short, bouncing around, and it stays on the board at least to have four. For her last bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it in to pick up five. And then my cousin's going to go on to pick up another two, putting it us at 17 to five. So once again, I'm going to have first shot here. And for my first shot, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. Now for my opponent's first shot, she's going to end up coming up short hanging in the hole so it's pretty much basically in and I'm gonna give it a little tap on my second bag but it doesn't fall yet so for her next shot she ends up sliding it in and her other bag did fall eventually so now I go ahead and slide my next bag in for her third shot she's gonna slide it right on in so now I know I could be in danger here I missed my last bag off to the right basically giving her the round so she can capitalize here and she's gonna come up short still collecting two on the round my cousin's going to go on to wash his next round, so my opponent's got first shot, and she comes up short of the hole, blocking my lane. I'm going to miss off to the right, and my bag unfortunately falls off the board. So for her second shot, she comes up short again of the hole, so I'm going to try to go over her bags, end up sliding off the back once again. So I know i got to try to figure out something here because I'm down. And for her third bag, she's going to try to push. All three are lined up, so I know it's probably smart just to block here. So for her last bag, she's going to go ahead and just try to push through everything. She ends up bumping the pile, but nothing falls. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to air mill here. But I end up giving up three to put them at 10. Tyler's going to end up giving up three more, putting them at 13. So I now got to close out the game here. We can't let them come back on us. She's going to miss her first bag off to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to slide it in. But I end up bumping her bag off and almost going in the hole, luckily. For her next shot, she front boards, so this gives me an opportunity to clean up and win this round. I'm going to go ahead and try to push it in, but I slide off the back because the boards are playing pretty quick still, and I am just not good with fast boards or fast bags. But anyways, for her third shot, she's going to end up kind of clogging my bag up against the hole, pushing it up, and for my next shot, I'm going to slide out and around. It's going to grab the hole and fall in, so now I can still have the advantage here. She's going to slide off the back, putting herself at one. Now I'm going to go ahead and just board it to take four to win the game 21 to 13. Game one, not a bad game to start off the day with. We got the dub, had a great first round, but then I fell apart. Um, Ty did pick up the slack, so we were good there. Uh, boards are playing pretty quick, and that's not ideal for me. Bags are playing fast, like lightning fast right now. I ended up shooting a 5.4 PPR, which isn't great for me, but they did use basic scoring, so I'm not going to have any DPR for you guys. We definitely need to focus on getting more bags in the hole than just on the board. But other than that, I feel like it's a good way to start off the day. We got the win. Um, I just got to pick up my end. And we should be good. We got to buy first round. So this was technically our second game. We're only going to have six games today. Let's head into game two. And let's see if we can keep up the streak and keep winning. Alrighty, guys. We're heading into game two here. My opponent's got first shot. She's going to start it out. For her first bag, she's going to go ahead and slide off to the right. Giving me an opportunity to take the lead. And I'm going to sink my first bag for three. She's going to go ahead and follow me up. So for my second shot, I'm going to get a bad kick off to the right. But it's still kind of hanging on the hole. Probably out of play by now. But... She does make her second bag, putting her in the lead. I'm going to come up short, but I know I could collect this. She's going to kind of clog the hole here, 
So I'm going to have to make a play if I want some points. I'm going to go up for the airmail. I miss off the back, giving her two. And then Ty's going to go on to give up five more. So heading into the next round, my opponent's going to have first shot here. She's going to go ahead and slide her first bag in. I'm going to go ahead and follow her up, tying it up three to three. For her next shot, she's going to come up short. So I'm going to ask them to grab the bag and get out of my way. I don't know if you guys do that, but it kind of bugs me sometimes, if, especially if it's sticking up. But anyways, for my second shot, I'm going to go ahead and miss off to the left, kind of giving it back to her. And she's going to slide right off the back. So now I have an opportunity here to capitalize for my next shot. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in up four points right now. She's going to come up short with her last bag. So I got to capitalize and try to get as many points as I can. But I do slide off the back, but still gain three. And then Ty's going to give up six to make it 13 to three. So once again, my opponent's going to have first shot here. For her first bag, she's going to go off the back. So I got to try to take advantage of this. I miss off to the left, but I know I still have one point on her. For her next bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. And I'm going to try to follow up, but miss off to the left, giving an opportunity to win this round. But she's going to follow me up. So right now it's 4-2. to two. I got to go in here. And I do slide it in to take the lead. For her last bag, she's going to get a bad cut off to the left. So I know on the round here, I just got to go in. But I miss off to the left also, still gaining two on the round. And then Ty's going to go ahead and pick up three more to make it 8-13. to 13. So now the bags are back in my hand, and I'm going to have first shot this time. So for my first bag, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. Now for my opponent's first shot, she's going to go ahead and get a piece of the hole, but it does slide to the back side. I'm going to go ahead and sink my second bag, putting me up by five. She's going to miss off to the right, so this could be big points for me right now. That's what I'm thinking. So for my next bag, I'm going to bounce off hers. Luckily, go towards the hole. She's going to go ahead and just push me in with her next bag. For my last bag, I go ahead and slide it in for a 12. And for her last bag, she's going to pick up an 8. So she's going to go ahead and give up 4, making it 12 to 13. And then Ty's going to go ahead and give up 4 more back, making it 17 to 12. So my opponent's going to have first shot again here. And for her first bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. So i got to try to follow her up. But I'm going to miss a little bit off to the left, pretty much out of play. For her next bag, she's going to front board. I'm going to have my partner collect it because it was sticking up over the board. So for my second shot, I'm going to go ahead and come up short, trying to slide it in there, but it acts like a blocker, so it's fine. She's going to go ahead and just re-block. So if I'm going to try to cut around here for my third shot. I end up missing the hole and sliding to the back on the right side. She's going to see an opportunity for a gap. She's going to finish with a five. But I'm either going to have to try to airmail here or roll. Looks like I go for a roll here. Tumble over, but end up giving up one point. And then Ty's going to go on to give up another seven to lose the game 25 to 12. Game two, we didn't start off so hot. We ended up giving up seven points in the first round. I went on to pick up some points, but I didn't throw terrible. Threw a 6.8 PPR. I just need more bags to go in the hole than leave him on the board. Ty kind of had a rough game though. Gave up a lot of points to his partner, which is unfortunate, but it's okay because it's only our second game. So we're still trying to figure out the boards. Uh, we could definitely play a little bit better, but I think with these conditions, we just got to figure out how to kind of slow ourselves down and not throw it off the back so much, at least for me. Um, but other than that, let's head into game three. I'm not too worried as of right now. Um, we're still looking good to head into a bracket. But like I said earlier, we just got to put more bags in the hole, focus on sliding it in. And I think we can get the dub next game. So let's head into game three and see how we do. Alrighty, so Ty's going to go ahead and give up three his first round. So we're going to be starting off down three points. My opponent's going to have first shot here. First, first shot. He misses a little bit off to the right. Not really in my lane. I'm going to try to go around it, but I end up getting caught up on it. So for his next shot, he's going to bump off my bag and go in. So for my second shot, I'm going to try to push through. But it ends up coming up short again. He's going to miss a little bit off to the left, giving me an opportunity to shoot it right up the middle. And for my third bag, I go fast side, but miss off to the right. Still leaving it wide open. He's going to bounce on the board for his fourth shot, so we're going to wait for that to get cleaned up. And I'm going to try to push through here, collect it all, but I miss off to the right, giving up two to make it five to zero. And then Ty's going to go on to pick up three, making it three to five. I'm going to have first shot here, and so for my first shot, I'm going to go ahead and miss off to the left. Pretty much out of play at this point, and for my opponent's first shot, he's going to come up short, blocking me. So for my second shot, I'm going to try to sneak around. Ends up leaning in the hole, but not falling. His second bag is going to get caught up on mine, so now it's pretty much going to either push through the pile or try to roll over it. I'm going to end up going off the back on the right side. He's going to try to collect and push, but it ends up clogging a little bit. I'm going to go fast into it and then miss off to the left. He's going to try to go up the middle, gets one to fall, giving up four, and then Ty's going to go ahead and gain another point, making it nine to four. 
So once again, Ty's going to leave me the opportunity with first shot. And for my first shot, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in for my opponent's first shot. Looks like he's going to follow me up, tying it up 3-3 for my second bag. I'm going to miss a little bit off to the right and short, giving him an opportunity to get the lead, but he's going to fall off to the right. So for my third shot, I'm going to try to collect this bag here, end up bumping off it and just going in. So for my opponent's next try, he's going to go ahead and slide it in. So I'm up one point right now. I got to try to collect, but I do miss off to the right, finishing with an eight. He's going to finish off with a seven, giving us one. And then Ty's going to go on to gain another point, putting it nine to six. So I'm going to have first bag here. For my first shot, I'm going to come up a little bit short and miss off to the right. Pretty much out of play at this point. He's going to end up front boarding. Now I know I'm ahead of bag. So for my second shot, I'm going to try to slide it in. Come up short again, but it acts like a blocker. So for his second shot, he's going to try to re-block. I see an opportunity to try to cut through the right side here. So for my next bag, I'm going to try to do so, and I end up missing off to the right of the board. For his next bag, he's just going to lay up, trying to force me to go for another shot here. And for my last bag, I go hard into it, but nothing ends up falling. He's going to lay up for a 3-3 wash. And then Ty's going to end up going on and giving up 5 points, making it 14-6. to six. So now my opponent's going to go ahead and have first shot. First, first bag, he's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For my first shot, I'm going to follow him up. And for his second bag, he's going to end up coming up short, blocking my lane. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cut around it, but I do miss the whole board off to the left. Then he's going to front board and give me that point back, which is nice of him. So for my third bag, I'm going to try to get around it again, but slide off the back. The bags are playing a little bit quick right now. He's going to go ahead and bump his bag in, but get launched off the side of the board to finish with a six. I'm going to go ahead and finish with a six also. Going ahead and getting a wash. But then Ty's going to go ahead and get one, making it 14 to seven now. So I'm going to go ahead and have first shot here. So for my first shot, I'm going to go ahead and front board. And I'm going to give him a free bag, which is nice of me. And my opponent's going to lay up for his first shot trying to block. Don't know if that was intentional or not. So for my second bag, I'm just going to lay up with him. For his second bag, he's going to miss off to the right, but it stays on. So for my second bag, I'm going to try to push through. End up getting caught up in my own bag. Looks like he's going to go for an airmail and somehow ends up sliding back in. For my next bag, I'm going to try to push through the middle. I get one to fall. And then he's going to end up bumping another bag in of mine to make me finish with a seven to gain one on the round. And then Ty's going to go on to go up another five, making it 19 to eight. So my opponent's going to have first shot here. And for his first bag, he's going to lay up trying to block me again. So for my first bag, I try to push through, come up short, but it's right in front of the hole. For his next bag, he just follows me up and blocks me. So for my second shot, I need to try to push through here and collect my own bag. But I end up just bumping both bags in and sliding off the board. He's going to miss off to the left for his next bag. And I just need to go in here to try to capitalize. I miss off to the left. He's going to end up pushing me off the board again, so I got to be in here to just wash. And I end up sliding off the back to give up three to lose the match 22 to eight. Game four was a rough one. I like to say I had a couple good rounds, but I pretty much didn't. I had a lot sliding off the back and the sides. Um, I ended up shooting a 4.6 PPR, which is not good at all. I honestly don't remember the last time I shot in the fours, but I decided to go throw the bags in some dirt to try to slow them down because I've done that before to slow my bags down. So hopefully that'll help us in game four. So let's head into game four and see how we do. And hopefully we can start winning to make a bracket. Starting off game four, Ty's gonna pick up six to put us in the lead and I'm gonna have first shot. For my first shot, I'm gonna try to slide it in, but it's gonna get caught up on the hole. So for my opponent's first shot, he's gonna end up just getting clogged with me. I'm gonna try to push through, but I come up short. He ends up hitting his bag and my bag in and going off the board. So for my next shot, I'm gonna try to collect here. And I come up short blocking the hole completely so for his third bag he's gonna just re-block my block so for my last bag I know I gotta try to either collect here maybe go for a roll or an air mail and I'm trying to push through and going off the board so I'm gonna end with a five and for my opponent's last bag my opponent's gonna end up getting a five to wash out the round and then Ty's gonna go on to give up three so now my opponent's going to have first shot here. And for his first shot, he misses off to the right. Pretty much out of play. So for my first bag, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. 
for his next bag. Misses off to the right again. So I know I can capitalize here. I go ahead and slide in my second bag. My opponent's going to miss off to the right with his third again, blocking himself from his own lane. So I'm going to try to take a step out here and go around. I end up bouncing off his bag and coming up short. So for his last bag, he ends up just building a pile. And I know I could collect here for eight. So for my last bag, I'm going to go ahead and bounce off his pile, get lucky, and drag mine with to capitalize on eight points. And then Ty's going to go on to pick up four more. So I'm going to have first shot here once again. And for my first bag, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in for my opponent's first shot. It's going to miss off to the left out of play here. It's kind of high on the board. For my next shot, it's going to grab the hole and fall in. He's going to front board, so I'm going to have them grab the bag here. So for my third shot, I know I need to capitalize. And I miss off to the right out of play, but it stays on the board. He's going to miss off to the right on his third bag. And for my last bag, I miss off to the left, finishing with an eight. He's going to finish with a three, giving us five points on the round to win the game 23 to three. Game four was a quicker game. We only shot three rounds, but the bags did slow down quite a bit from the dirt, which did help me and tie out a lot. I ended up throwing an 8.3 PPR, which is a lot better than the last couple games. Hopefully we can keep up that momentum into the next couple games going on. We have two more games left before we get placed in whatever bracket we're playing tomorrow, but let's head into game five and let's see if we can keep it going. Let's see if we get another win. Heading into game five, Ty's gonna start us out down two. So my opponent's gonna have first shot here. First, first shot, he misses the board off to the right. For my first bag, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For his second shot, he's going to miss the board off to the left. And I'm going to capitalize by sliding another one in for six. And then my opponent's going to miss his third bag, so I know this could be big points for us. I'm going to slide my third bag in. For his last bag, he's going to miss off to the left again, giving me an opportunity. Of course, I come up short on my last bag, but still gain ten on the round. Then Ty's going to go on to pick up another four giving me first bag. So for my first shot here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide it right on in, but I miss off to the right, pretty much out of play. So for my opponent's first shot, he's gonna go ahead and try to slide it in too. Comes up short of the hole, acts like a blocker. So I end up getting hit by the wind and dropping my bag in front of the board, which sucks. So for my opponent's second bag, he's gonna go ahead and try to push his bag in. He gets one to fall, but the other one slides off to the left. I'm going to miss my third bag off to the right, giving him an opportunity to capitalize on some points here. He's going to miss off to the right, and I'm going to try to slide it in, coming up short once again. So for my opponent's last bag, he's going to end up just boarding it to gain two on the round, and then Ty's going to go on to wash out the next round. So my opponent's going to have first shot, and for his first shot, he's going to miss off the board to the right, giving me an opportunity here. For my first bag, I miss off to the left, but it stays on. For his next bag, he's going to go off the back of the board. So for my second shot, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For his third bag, he's going to end up getting a nice kick into the hole. So for my third shot, I'm going to follow him up and slide it right on in. And for my opponent's last bag, he's going to end up hitting the hole and bouncing off, but it stays on. And I'm going to capitalize here with a 10, gaining 5 points, making it 20 to 4. Then Ty's going to go ahead and pick up four to win the game 24 to four. Game five was also a quicker game. I had one bad round in the middle, but other than that, I shot two tens, ending with a 7.7 .7 PPR. I don't think I did that bad for the conditions that we're playing in, and I'm happy how we ended up playing that game. We have one more game to go into, so hopefully we can pick up the dub on that last game. We're heading into that game four and two right now, so we're pretty much guaranteed almost an A-Rack spot, especially if we win this game. We should be good. They're doing it on like the point difference, so I know we'll be fine there, but anyways, let's head into game six, the last game of the day, and see how we do. Alrighty, we're starting our last game of the day off. My opponent's got first shot here. First, first shot, he's gonna miss a little bit off to the left, giving me an opportunity, but I'm gonna stack up right behind it. So for my opponent's next bag, he ends up front boarding, so I'm gonna have my partner grab it out of the way. So for my second shot here, I'm gonna try to slide in, but I end up going over the hole, but it stays on luckily. My opponent's next bag just puts right up behind my bag. So for my third shot, I'm gonna try to cut around, but I end up missing off to the right. Falling off the board, unfortunately, so right now it's a wash two to two. He's gonna go ahead and front board his last bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and board this one for one to get us started one to zero. And then Ty's gonna go ahead and wash out his round. So I'm gonna go ahead and have first shot here. 
for my first shot, I go ahead and slide off the back. So my opponent's going to lay up. I don't think that was an intentional block, but I'm going to bounce off and almost fall in, basically in the hole at this point. So my opponent's second shot's going to try to push through. He's going to get caught up on his block, but mine does fall. I'm going to try to re-block, but I miss off to the left. He's going to try to push through with his third bag. Everything gets bunched up. So I'm going to try to lay up a block here right in the middle so he can't push hard up the middle. And then for my opponent's last bag, he ends up trying to push hard, gets two of them to fall to finish the round out eight to five, giving up three. And then Ty's gonna go ahead and pick up five to make it six to three. So I'm gonna go ahead and have first shot here. For my first shot, I come up a little bit short, blocking my lane, but I know I can push through that. My opponent's gonna miss off to the left, pretty much out of play, but it does stay on the board. I try to push through, getting one to drop, one bounces off to the left, Still not out of play yet. My opponent's then gonna front board with his second bag. So now I know I'm up on the round and I have an opportunity to get some points here. I try to collect, but end up getting caught up in my bag right now having five. My opponent misses off to the right, giving me a perfect lane to push through, try to collect these two bags. I end up going fast side, missing a little bit off to the right and going off back. So now it is five to two, but he's gonna miss his last bag off to the right, giving us three on the round. And then Ty's gonna go on to pick up five more, making it 14 to three. So I'm gonna go ahead and have first shot here. And for my first shot, I'm gonna end up sliding off the back because the boards are still playing pretty quick. Then my opponent's gonna end up front boarding and giving it right back to me, which is nice. So then for my next bag, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it right on in for three. For my opponent's second bag, comes up a little bit short, but it's just hanging in the hole, so I know he's pretty much fine. For my third bag, I'm going to go ahead and just try to push through. Gets caught up, but doesn't knock him in. He's going to just lay up behind me. I don't think that was intentional, though. So for my last bag, I know I need to try to push through this. End up going fast side and kind of clogging the hole up, which still gives me the lead on this round because my opponent does need to make a move to get some points. He's asking his partner what he should do. His partner says try to push through everything. And for my opponent's last bag, He's gonna try to push through the pile, ends up cleaning it up, still giving us two to make it 16 to three. But then Ty's gonna end up giving up three, making it 16 to six. So now my opponent's gonna have first bag. So for his first shot, he ends up front boarding. His partner's gonna end up picking it up for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and for my first shot, I miss off to the right and deep. Basically out of play, but luckily it stays on the board. And then for my opponent's second bag, he's gonna miss off to the right, but it is hanging in the hole. I'm going to slip my second bag in. So for his third shot, he's going to slide it right on in, tying it up at four to four. For my third bag, I find the hole and drop it in. So for his final last bag, he misses off to the left. So now I know I'm leading this round. I end up hitting the front of the board, but it hops on for an eight to five finish to gain three. And then Ty's going to go ahead and pick up one more, putting us at 20, making it 20 to six. So I'm going to go ahead and have first shot here. For my first shot, I go ahead and slide it right on in. For my opponent's first shot, he ends up missing off to the left, and it's not blocking me, so I'm good here. And then I'm going to slide my second bag in. So for my opponent's second shot, he's going to follow me up, making it 6-4. to four. For my third shot, I end up running into his bag. Not too bad, though, because I know I'm leading the round. He's going to end up front boarding, so now I just got to stay on to win the game. And for my last and final bag, I go ahead and slide it right off the back, of course. So he's got to be in here to keep the game alive. He slides it in for a 7-7 wash. And then Ty is going to go on to pick up two to win the game 22-6. Game six wasn't terrible. Didn't shoot great in the beginning, but I ended up picking up towards the end. Um, I ended up shooting a 6.2 PPR. Not the best, but it got the job done. We did get the dub. And we were able to close the day out 5-2, and two, which is great. And that put a second place in our bracket. So we did make a bracket. And I just really want to see how we, like, line up against the pros and actually play some good pros like good well-known names that i may have not played against i just want to see and like test my ability obviously and see where i stand but there's a lot of takeaway from today and for the future going into this tournament an outdoor tournament i should say the least is a lot different than indoor indoor is what i'm used to the weather plays a big factor when you're outdoors the wind the wind didn't really affect me because my bag cut through the wind pretty easily because it was pretty flat but other than that we're going to end the day off today and get ready for day three tomorrow and see how we're gonna do in playoffs. All right guys, what is up? And welcome back to the final day of Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown 2023. 
Um, I was just looking at our bracket. We got some pros in our bracket. We got like Hunter Thorne, Tony Smith, the Cobb brothers, Ty Lopez. And I was thinking like, oh yeah, they're all pretty far away. We're gonna be doing good. We'll at least win a couple games. No, we get Mark Richards and Alex Hicks first match. So this should be fun. I told Ty that we need to try to at least last 10 rounds for content for you guys. Cause the odds of us beating them, I would love to say like, yeah, we can do it. But I'm gonna be realistic here. And there's probably no shot cause they did take like third or fourth last year. But yeah, it's a pretty gloomy day. Boards are actually playing quicker than I expected. I thought they'd play slower, but it is what it is. Um, let's head into the first match and just see how long we survive. That's what I'm going with this one. Alrighty, game one of day two. Playing against Alex Hicks and Mark Richards. My opponent's got first shot here. First first shot, he's gonna go ahead and slide it right on in. So for my first shot, I'm gonna go ahead and miss off to the left. Giving my opponent an open lane. He's gonna slide his next bag in. For my second shot, I'm gonna miss off to the right. So for my opponent's third shot, it's gonna go ahead and get a kick off my bag and go in. For my third bag, I slide it right up the middle and in. For my opponent's last bag, Misses a little bit off to the left, hanging in the hole. I'm going to finish up with a six, giving up four points on the round. And then Ty is going to go ahead and take one, making it four to one. So I'm going to go ahead and have first shot here. For my first bag, I miss off to the right, sliding off the board. For my opponent's first shot, he's going to go right up the middle and in. For my next bag, I'm going to come up short, but blocking his lane. That's a good bag. His second bag, he's gonna try to roll around it, ends up getting caught up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to force the pile in, but everything gets caught up. So for his next bag, he's gonna go ahead and cut around the pile, dragging his in for a nine right now. So I gotta try to push these bags in, save up the round, but I miss off to the right, giving my opponent an opportunity for a big point round here. He's gonna try to roll over, ends up getting caught, but still gets a 10 to give up eight on the round. And then Tyler's gonna go on to give up another five. So now my opponent's gonna have first shot. It's gonna go ahead and block my lane off. So for my first bag, I just end up pushing his bag in and coming up short. So for my opponent's next bag, he's gonna go ahead and slide it in. For my second bag, I'm gonna follow him up. I'm only down by two right now. For his third bag, he goes ahead and slides it right on in. For my next bag, I bump my other bag in and slide it right off. He's gonna come up short for his last bag for a 10. For my final bag, I'm gonna try to slide it around it, but I end up staying on to give up three more. And then Ty's gonna go ahead and wash out the next round, giving the bags back to me. So my opponent's gonna have first shot here. And for his first shot, he's gonna go ahead and slide it right on in. For my first bag, I'm gonna follow him up. For his next bag, he comes up a little bit short, but it's basically in at this point. I'm gonna try to work around it, but I leave the lane open for him. He's gonna end up bouncing over the hole, but getting one to drop. So for my third bag, I'm gonna try to collect here, end up just sliding right on in. My opponent's gonna finish up with a 10. So I know I basically have to be in here, end up getting caught up on my bag to give up two, to lose the game 22 to one. Alrighty, for game one, unfortunately, we got Mark Richards and Alex Hicks. I threw a 5.8, it's not terrible. I had a bad round in the beginning. I was just kind of tight, obviously, going up against someone that's just not gonna miss. You know, it's gonna get in your head and you're gonna think like, oh, I really can't miss a bag, and then you end up missing more. Your arm tightens up. So, going into the future, I know that I just need to play my game and not worry about that. Even win or lose, just play my game and play to my best ability and not worry about if I'm playing against someone like really good. Other than that, we need to pick it up for game two. Hopefully we can make a long run now. We got a ways to go in the loser's bracket, but we just need to get some dubs, get some wins under our belt, and hopefully we can keep the momentum going and see how far we can really get in this thing. Cause I believe that we can get pretty far as long as we stay consistent, stay up the middle and put some bags in the holes. Board conditions are playing great. Not too fast, not too slow. It is kind of misty out right now or foggy, I should say, as you guys can see. But other than that, boards are playing great and let's head into game two and see if we can get a win. Alrighty, we're starting game two of day two. My opponent's gonna have first shot. Tiger ended up giving up six his first round, so we're already down six to begin with. She's gonna go ahead and sink her first bag. For my first bag, I'm gonna end up following her up. 
For her next bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For my next bag, I'm going to try to follow her up, but come up a little bit short, but it's basically in at this point. She's going to hit the board. It's going to fall. She's going to be with a seven right now. I'm going to end up bouncing off her bag and going in. So for her last and final bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it in for a 10 so I can capitalize here. But of course, I miss off to the right, giving up one. And then Ty's going to go on to give up another three, putting them up 10 to zero. So my opponent's going to go ahead and have first shot here. For her first shot, misses off to the left, but it's hanging in the hole. I'm going to go ahead and miss off to the left even more. That's basically out of play, but at least it stayed on. For her second shot, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For my second shot, I'm going to follow her up. Her bag is still hanging. It has the possibility of falling in. For her third bag, she gets a bad kick off to the right. So I know I just got to slide it in here. For her last and final bag, she's going to try to grab it. She ends up just sliding it right on in, so I got to go in without taking it. And of course, I end up grabbing it and dropping it in for a 10-10 wash. And then Ty's going to go on to get two. So now I'm going to have first shot. And for my first shot, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. Luckily, it was a little bit off the left, but it grabs the hole and falls. So for my opponent's first shot, I'm just going to go ahead and go wrap the middle and in, grab the hole and falls. For my next shot, I'm going to come up a little bit short, but I know it's not a play. It's blocking me more than her, but it's all good. I can still push it in. So for her next bag, she's going to sneak around my bag and fall in, giving her the lead of this round. I'm going to try to go ahead and collect my bag here. I end up getting it to fall, but my other bag bounces off to the left. So for my opponent's third throw, I'm just going to go ahead and slide it right up the middle. I know I got to be in here. I end up grabbing the hole and falling in to finish with a 10. Now she has an opportunity to grab two points. She's going to go ahead and miss off to the left, running into my bag, washing at a 10-10. And then Ty's going to go on to give up five more, making it 15-2. to two. So now my opponent's going to have first shot again. For her first shot, she's going to miss a little bit off to the right, giving me an opportunity to get ahead. For my first bag, I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on in. For her second shot, she's going to follow me up, drop her bag in. I'm going to go once again, drop my second bag in, leading the round six to four. For her next bag, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in, almost coming up short. For my third bag, I miss off to the right, giving her an opportunity to match me. So for her last and final bag, she's going to go ahead and miss off to the right. So now I have an opportunity to get two. And for my last bag, I'm going to bounce off hers and go in to gain two. And then Ty is going to go on to give up another five, making it 20 to four. So once again, my opponent is going to have first shot here. For her first shot, she's going to go ahead and slide it right on in. I'm going to try to follow her up, but I come up a little bit short, but it's basically hanging in the hole. So for her second shot, she's just going to push right through, making it 6-3. to three. For my next bag, I'm going to miss a little bit off to the right. I know this could be game if I don't capitalize and just try to put all my bags in. But she's going to slide her next bag in, so i got to block here, make her miss her last bag and try to collect. I end up missing off to the left, so I know as long as she goes in, it's pretty much game. There's no way I'm grabbing any of these. She's going to finish with a 12. And for my last shot, I'm just going to try to grab one for fun. End up... Almost hitting the airmail clean, but we give up four to lose 24 to four. Game two, I shot well. This game, I had a nine at the beginning and eight at the end. And other than that, I shot only tens. Overall, I had a 9.4 PPR, which is not bad at all, especially with playing outside. I don't normally play outside, so I am pretty happy about this game. I felt comfortable, but Ty fell short, giving up quite a bit of points. But that's going to happen. Everyone does have a bad game here and there. Unfortunately, that puts us 0 2 in the playoffs and we're out. So that's going to end off the day. The tournament was definitely a fun one to play and a really good experience. I learned a lot about playing outdoors and how it can affect your bag and play styles for some people. And if you ever get the chance to come out to Ventura and play this throwdown, I would highly recommend it. It's just overall, it's a really fun atmosphere to be in. A lot of people playing cornhole, just having a good time. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. That's going to be a wrap on Spencer McKenzie's Throwdown 2023. And I'll see you guys in the next video.